नाउ आर डेज वी यूज आवर जी मेल अकाउंट टू ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग गेमिंग एंड मैनी अदर थिंग यू थिंक अबाउट इट सिक्योरिटी इफ नॉट सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सिक्योर योर जी मेल अकाउंट बिकॉज सो इफ योर जी मेल अकाउंट इज हैक्ट सो एवरी थिंग इज लॉस्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू सम सिक्योरिटी सेटिंग्स यू कैन अप्लाई टू सिक्योर योर जी मेल अकाउंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन गूगल क्रोम एंड ऑन द टॉप राइट कॉर्नर यू सी योर जी मेल आई कैन क्लिक ऑन इट एंड क्लिक मैनेज योर गूगल अकाउंट एंड द लेफ्ट साइड यू सी सिक्योरिटी ऑप्शन क्लिक ऑन इट स्क्रोल डाउन एंड हेर यू सी रिकवरी फोन क्लिक ऑन इट आवर फर्स्ट सिक्योरिटी सेटिंग्स इज रिकवरी फोन इफ यू डोंट एड रिकवरी फोन सो यू कैन एड दिस बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो फर्स्ट आई एंटर माई अकाउंट पासवर्ड दैन आई एड रिकवरी फोन if you forget your password so then you try to recover your gmail account so you can recover your gmail account through recovery phone so click on add recovery phone and choose which country are you from then write phone number and click next and click get code google will send you the code to this number for verification so you write the code and click verify then you see your recovery phone number is successfully added so whenever you forget your password and try to recover your gmail account you can use recovery phone now go back and down and here you see recovery email click on it recovery email is also very important whenever you forget your password and you try to sign into your gmail account so use your recovery email to get back your gmail account so write your recovery email and click verify now the same process google will send you the code for verification to your email so you write the code and click verify now your recovery email has been successfully added now go back and scroll down and here you see your devices click on manage all devices guys here you see where your gmail account has been signed in you see i have only signed in my gmail account to this laptop so if you sign your gmail account on multiple devices you can check if you sign in your gmail account and you forget sign out or someone sign in your gmail account to his device so you see where your gmail account has been signed if you see any unauthorized device you can sign out because it is very risky if someone if someone you don't know sign your gmail account so he has so he hacked your gmail account and use your gmail account from other devices so you can see where your gmail account has been signed and if you don't know this device you can sign out and click go back now the fourth setting is your connection to third party apps and services click on see all connections guys here you see where you sign in your gmail account to third party apps like i use vidiq or any other similar web if you see any unauthorized or unwanted app where you use your gmail account so you can sign out because it sometimes it is very risky to use your gmail account so you can sign in and uh, the app has hacked your gmail account and use your information so if you find any unauthorized or unwanted apps you can sign out so for this i have only one app so i click on vid iq this process is same for any app you can sign out scroll down and here you see delete all connections you have with i with with iq click on it and click confirm now you see your gmail account has been successfully removed from this app and here i have no any third party connection now the fifth security setting is enhanced safe browsing for your account click manage enhanced safe browsing guys by default this setting is, is off you can turn it on manually turn so click turn on guys what this settings do if you sign in your gmail account to google and you open any unauthorized or unwanted apps where google will find any unwanted links or anything that can uh, hack your gmail account so google will not open this website so this is very good settings for google 
and again very important settings to protect your gmail account so go back and scroll down and here you see to step verification click on it guys this setting is very very important when whenever someone try to sign your gmail account and he knows what is your password if you turn on these settings if someone try to sign in your gmail account google will send the permission to you if you really sign in or not if you sign in then you if you click yes then sign in otherwise not so this setting is very important in two step verification you have multiple options authenticate the great pass key so click on turn to on two step verification and done and click on done and here you see we will use my recovery phone number for two step verification so whenever someone try to sign in my gmail account and he knows my password google will send me the permission if i click yes then the gmail is signed in otherwise not so guys this setting is very important and backup code so guys this is very important if you forget your gmail account and try to sign in you use backup codes so click on get backup codes so this is a so these are the backup codes for my gmail account i can download this code i can click the photo of these codes so guys keep in mind that you can place these codes in that area where no one can see only you see what is your backup codes now the second is authenticator guys click on authenticator and click setup authenticator you can download the authenticator app to your google play store or app store you can see the picture of these apps on the screen guys when you download these apps you can sign in and scan the qr code when you scan the qr code google will generate some six digit code for your gmail account so whenever you sign in there are multiple options google authenticator app or recovery phone number for verification you can use google authenticator app google will generate six digit codes for every time so you can use this and sign in your account so this setting is very important if someone try to sign in your gmail account and he knows what is your password so when he sign in google will send the permission for to say verification then you click yes or no then you knows who are trying to sign in your gmail account so guys this setting is also very important when you sign in your gmail account on a new device sometimes google will not use phone number or email for two step verification but authenticator app will also use for two step verification so guys this is very important at this time i don't use this but you really want to use this because this is very important so i click cancel and go back now recent time google will introduce new security pass key and security keys click on it guys you cannot set pass key to your laptop so you can only set this for your phone so click create pass key and if you use your laptop google will get the qr code you can turn on bluetooth on for your mobile and scan the qr code uh, then you set pass key what is pass key uh, google will use your face id or finger print for your mobile so whenever you try to sign in your gmail account you cannot write a password every time you can uh, write your gmail and click pass key then you google will use your face id or fingerprint id to really verify that it's you and your gmail is signed and you cannot write password every time and if you in that area where more of the people around you then they can see what is your password so this setting is very important no one can see what is your password so at this time i don't set this but you really want to set this so i click cancel and go back so guys these are the settings you apply to protect your gmail account from hacking so if you apply all these settings your gmail account has been protected from hacking so guys i hope this video is helpful for you if this video is helpful for you so like the video and if you don't subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel for latest videos and press the bell icon so that you can receive every latest videos first so if you have any question ask me in the comment section so if you find this video is helpful then you can share it with your friends